Hello everyone, today's trivia is Eliza and the Moonchild. Let's go. As the moon shone and the sky grew black and Miss Mrs. Moon turned on more light. The moon child guessed through his telescope. What's that? he asked. That's Earth, said his mother. I want to go there, said the moon child. Everything here is white, white, white. I want to color us, he cried. Don't be such a wild moon child. Said Mrs. Mother, I'm um, Mrs. Mom, uh, Moon. That's not that night. The Moon Child slipped out of his bright white loom and jumped into his Moon Zoom. He zoomed through the universe straight down to Earth. The Moon Child looked around. This isn't light. Where's the colorus? He cried. It was shadowy and dark. There were rustling and lumbling. I'm not scared, he shouted. I'm a wild moon child. Shh! Who's there? whispered the moon child. Me, Eliza, said a little girl. Why is it so dark? cried the moon child. Where are the colors? Shh, said Eliza. Everyone's sleeping. There will be colors just waiting. Wait till morning. So the moon child and the little girl waited until morning. As the yellow sun rose, the moon child looked around. Oh, guessed the moon child. I want one of those. Just a minute, said Eliza. We can paint one of those. She dipped her brush in some yellow paint and painted a yellow glowing sun. Do you like that? asked Eliza. I love that, said the moon child. As the yellow sun rose the and the sky turned blue, the moon child looked around. I like that, said the moon child. Can I have that? Lots of that, said Eliza. As she dipped her brush in the blue paint and painted a big blue sky. What do you think? asked Eliza. Do you like that? I love that, said the moon child. As the yellow sun rose and the sky turned blue, the moon child looked around. Wow, he said, we need some of those. I will put them just here, said Eliza. She dipped her brush in the lead paint and painted some beautiful lead flowers. Okay, she asked, really good said the moon child. As the yellow sun rose and the sky turned blue and moon child looked around. I wish I could have one of those, he said. We'll put one in here, said Eliza. She dipped her brush in the green paint and painted a green, rustling tree. There, she said. Do you like that? I love that said the moon child. As the yellow sun rose and the sky turned blue, the moon child looked around. Looked around. Look at those, he cried. Can you paint some of those? I will try, said Eliza. She dipped her brush in the purple, purple paint and painted five fluttering butterflies in the trees. Tree. You like them? asked Eliza. 
I love them," said the Moon Child. As the yellow sun rose and the sky turned blue, suddenly the winds blew, and Eliza shivered. She ran to get her dressing gown. I wish I could have you in the picture," said the Moon Child. Eliza smiled as she dipped her brush in the orange paint and painted a little girl sitting by a green rustling tree. "Is that okay? Do you like me?" asked the little girl. "I love you," said the Moon Child. Eliza called. The little girl's mother, come and have your breakfast. I've got to go," said the little girl. "But I've got a present for you." She gave the moon child her paint box. "Goodbye," she said. "Come back soon. I will," said the moon child. "Goodbye." That night, as the moon shone. And the sky grew dark, and Eliza's mother turned on more lights. Eliza gazed out at the sky. Today I met a wild moon child, she whispered. I wonder what he's doing now. In his bright white room, the moon child and his mother were looking at the picture. It's lovely, said Mrs. Moon. We can do more," said the moon child. She showed her the paint. "Let's do lots," said Mrs. Moon. "Let's cover the walks." All night long, as the moon shone, Mrs. Moon and the moon child painted dazzling pictures. "You see," said the moon child. All these colors are on Earth. It's amazing," said Mrs. Moon. "I had no idea. You can come next time," said the Moon Child. "I'd love to," said Mrs. Moon. Thank you for the watching. Bye bye.